Success. Yes, I like. This week on Life on Jupiter. After trying so hard to get into St. Martin, now we're getting ready to leave. But first, plenty of boat jobs to be done. And another birthday. It's my birthday! We made it through another year. Now it's time to get serious about the Bahamas. We need to get the paperwork done and get the boat ready. So today I'm going to do at least one engine oil change. They're both due uh, about now. In fact, this one's gone over a little bit. But before we go up to the Bahamas, and while we've got great chandleries here in St. Martin, when you take things apart, it's always good to know if you break something, lose something, drop something, need a spare part, or find another problem. Because that's always the way. When you start digging, it's like a Pandora's box sometimes. You've got to 
have a good supply of parts or help if you need it. So I'm going to do the oil changes here in St. Martin and we're going to be leaving to head towards the Bahamas in about three days time. So an oil change on these beaters are very simple. Um, they come with their own oil pump, a uh, hand pump. So all I got to do is jigga 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 jig, and it will pump out the sump. But to get to the oil filter, I have to remove the high pressure pump for the water maker. So a little inconvenient, but uh, for the convenience of a water maker, <laughs> it's well worth it. Anyway, let's get to it. Probably half the shopping we need for Bahamas. <laughs> 800 US dollars here. People tell us in Bahamas if you find a vegetable, hunt it down and kill it because there are none. They're very rare. So, but we can't keep veggies for very long, like one week, two at the most. So this is our second last night in St. Martin. We are going to head out to Marigot Bay tomorrow where we will check out the next day. Tomorrow we're going to go try to do the PCR test. Um, so if that goes well then yes we will check out the next day. For Bahamas. <laughs> How's it looking? It's like a shag pile carpet down there. But this water here is, you know, although it looks nice and clear, it's uh, not very healthy with all these boats in here discharging their toilets. So we'll wait till we get on the outside and I'll have to give it a scrub again. This is the good thing about lithium. Well, one of the many good things is that uh, we ran the batteries down a fair way because we made a uh, bone broth on the induction stove for 24 hours of cooking not quite 24 hours but it was a lot of cooking for a long time and uh, it was cloudy yesterday so i thought i'd just run the engines because we've got to go through the bridge soon and we've just done an oil change so i want to make sure i don't have oil leaks or any problems before we go through the bridge but yeah, we can get these alternators that I've got are 200 amps each. I'm just sitting on 1200 RPM right now and easily putting in 100 amps aside. That way they stay cool if I'm running both of them at half capacity. If I was to run one at 200 amps, it would get hot and wear out prematurely, you know. So, good thing about lithium, 
is that it accepts all the amps that you throw at it. So that's a good thing. Finally, we were almost ready. The bridge on the French side only opens twice a week, so it was time to leave the lagoon. Although it was nice to be out in the clean ocean water, we regretted coming here immediately. The huge swell rolling in the anchorage and no internet. Getting ready to leave St. Martin to Bahamas. So we did our PCR test yesterday, which Jesus, that is noisy. What is it? Danish. The last of our French food. Oh, yeah. They're good. One euro. They're good. <laughs> so, yeah, our uh, PCR yesterday, and it worked out beautifully. There was a rumor only of a free PCR on the French side of St. Martin. We are on the Dutch side, well, closer to the Dutch side anyway and it's 125 US dollars each there plus the doctor's fee I think so we thought we're going to investigate this free one and we asked on the radio net yesterday morning does anyone have advice for that where is it is it true is it still running nobody had any info so we just took the bus and there's only 10 minutes on the bus and there's the Red Cross sign flags on the highway we yelled out stop the bus and we got off there there's a few maybe what 12 cars lined up because it's a drive-through um, and someone even suggested you've got to hire a car and they go drive through but we just walked up there uh, we said we need a test we lied we uh we said we're going to a french island martinique uh just in case that made a difference when are you leaving uh, i said well as soon as we get this test because we're on a sailing boat oh okay okay so take us straight to the front of the line it was awesome five minutes and we're done <laughs> success yes i like <laughs> so, I like it. free PCR, done in like five minutes. We go to the front of the line, because most people have to drive through in their car. We don't have a car. Yeah. So we go to the front of the line. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, we're ready and we're excited for Bahamas. Because, well, it's just one of those places in the world that, you know, looks... In fact, it was I can't remember which astronaut it was. But a particular astronaut was looking down at Bahamas and it's the most beautiful jewel on the surface of the ocean. Oh, surface of the earth. So, yeah, be good to get into that. So we had um, all sorts of protocols to follow, apart from the PCR. We've got to upload the PCR uh, to the Bahamas website and then they'll give us permission to arrive so far princess has got her results but mine are still coming oh and she's negative by the way yeah so hopefully they'll come today and we will leave tomorrow sailing princess waiting <laughs> we are anchored
So, we were going to go ashore for brunch. I did promise Princess that I'd take her to one of those French cafes for a nice brunch. But the wind's been up all night and we've got quite a swell here coming in. Um, and the chain's been snatching, the anchor chain on the bridle. And we've got a, a hook in the chain and it's slowly opening up from the, the, the force. So instead I've put a soft shackle on uh, the bridle to the anchor chain and this is the first time I've used a soft shackle uh, for that purpose. Uh, it was actually Riley off La Vagabond told us this little tip. Um, it should be stronger than the stainless steel hook but this is the first time we've used it so I don't trust it yet. I know it's strong but it may chafe in the chain so I'm going to uh, cancel our brunch at the French cafe and instead I've cooked Princess some chicken, eggplant, romaine lettuce, kimchi, well she actually made that one, and uh, soy sauce and chili. Yum. So although it's a little bit seasicky out here in the swell, we're going to have lunch on board. Let's get into it. Good? Mm. Time to set up the passage bed. Let me just drop the saloon table down. I just put four screws, one in each leg, and that's all. And now we can drop it. Well, we're still here. I managed to go ashore, find some Wi-Fi, and we got, uh, I rang Guadeloupe, where the PCR test is tested. And they emailed it to me, and yes, negative. So now I have sent that off to Bahamas, and they say up to 24 hours, but yours has already been like 40 hours so far. I mean, it's. So then I emailed Bahamas and I said, well, how long do we have to wait? You're only giving us five days from PCR test, which was Monday, today's Wednesday, until arrival. Uh, they did reply uh, and said, please send the application numbers. So I've done that now. But yeah, so we're still here. And so after they approve our application, then I have to pay for the visa, which includes the um, insurance, I think, COVID insurance. So, yeah, I, I thought, ah, let's just leave because we've got five days to get there, but um, we can't. <laughs> One, we can't get, we can't pay, we can't get the insurance, so yeah, they would not be happy if we arrived without all that stuff. So, hopefully, by the end of today, it's still, it's one hour earlier in Bahamas than it is here. So it's like 4.30 there. Maybe they'll approve it today. But yeah, it's a bit crazy. They ask, you know, you gotta be five days, you gotta arrive five days after your PCR. No later than five days. It's nearly been that already just for them processing. For the processing of the PCR and then the processing of the application. And a day's passage? Yeah, well, it was a four day, well, three or four day passage to get there. So, anyway, that's what we deal with continuously. Bureaucrats. Check out this playlist featuring boat tech tips and seamanship. <laughs>